All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. Say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Patter Tisman, Log TV and Choo Choo, and let's get started with today's video. All right, truck unboxing, I don't know. Truck unboxing number 7 billion 300. No, I'm just kidding. So uh, we're going to do an unboxing for you guys. I um, unboxed this guy yesterday, the Artisan Sirius in Black G10. Um, and so we're going to use that to cut this one open right here. Uh, I'm going to cut it off camera because as you, well, you know what? The label is on the other side. Uh, the, the Somebody actually put the label on the opposite side of the opening uh, wow. Uh, so uh, this comes from Precision Knife Works. Um, and um, this is going to be a knife that has been out for a while, but is still available. So we are going to check this out. I've seen this knife uh, many times, but I've never actually, I mean, seen it like uh, on YouTube and other reviewers looking at it, but I've never checked it out personally. And so um, they reached out to me and asked if I'd want to check it out. And I'm like, I always want to check stuff out. So we've got uh, the Precision Knife Works uh, box here. And I cannot remember who the OEM. Well, you know what? We have a big note here. So that'll work just fine. Um, we've got uh, a pouch here. By the way, this is not a uh, review. This is an unboxing. And uh, wow, right off the bat, uh, my impression is different than what I thought it would be because I don't think I've seen this milled version. This is the worn tack, guys. Uh, this one's been out for quite some time, but uh, this milling is sick. Uh, so I don't, I I don't remember. I thought maybe he was doing that himself. Um, I'll have to we'll have to see what the note says here in a second. But let's just do this. Okay, very nice. Uh, you have. Satin finish blade, this crazy Warncliffe blade, a tactical Warncliffe, if you will. Um, and you definitely have, uh, this milling is absolute, look at that. Look at that milling, that is beautiful. Um, now, that, again, because this is not a review, uh, we're probably not going to do a lot of details and a lot of pricing. The hole is big, but it's thin and, and not as much of it is exposed. So you can get your finger in there easily for reverse flick. Uh, let's see, can we thumb flick it? Not not as easily, let's see. Yeah, not yet. Yeah, I can do it, you gotta give it a little bit of wrist. Uh, it is a frame lock with the lock bar interface um, and you have a uh, titanium clip that is reversible with a little plate, very nice. Uh, you don't have much sticking out of the pocket, just a little bit here. Pretty cool. And uh, yeah, quite a bit of milling for uh, weight reduction there. Lockup is nice. Every, I mean, the pass-through, look at that. Woo! Uh, very, very good. So let's see what our note says here. Um, again, I, this is probably going to be a fairly short unboxing because i got to get it back in the office here. I just had to run over to the post office um, to get this. All right. Uh, Don Don is the owner-operator of Precision Knife Works, Don Hosen. Uh, this is uh, an 8-inch knife, so that is cool. You guys know that's about my favorite size of a knife. I think it fits my hands perfectly. I think the blade is what I need. You got great jimping here, by the way. Um Blade finish on production models is machine finished flats with belt satin on the hollow ground areas. So that's what you're seeing. This is hollow ground here. Belt satin there. Very, very cool. T8 hardware. Um, now, price of production model, $250 with free shipping. Um, now, is this a... Okay, so he says he's offering full hollow ground reground versions as they are ordered on my website. Uh, now, I gotta ask him, is this a regrind? Uh, or is this the original grind? This is deep hollow, so I'm gonna say this is a regrind. Uh, I'm going, to, let's see if he says, if there's a second page here, so maybe he tells me. Um, QSP is who's making these, by the way. He's got a sale through September 4th. Uh, use NKD10 for 10% off of anything on his website. 
Very, very cool. By the way, his Instagram account is at custom underscore EDC underscore knives. So very, very cool. Uh, the targeted edge thickness for the regrinds is 0 0.010. And that's kind of what I think. So I think this is a regrind. I'm pretty sure uh, this is a regrind. Let's see. Blade finish on production models is machine fit. Well, well, my phone just randomly stopped recording. But anyway, so I'm not sure. I'll have to ask if this is the original grind or if this is the regrind. I think, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but it is pretty thin, nice and centered, uh, like the way it fits in my hand. I think this would be a great utility knife, great worker, um, great EDC as well. Uh, I like this a lot more than I than I thought I would. Um, the shape is a little different. Uh, than, than I usually would like with this really acute tip. Uh, but I think I'm going to really like that. So guys, I will carry this and definitely give you my full thoughts on it uh, in a review. Uh, Don, thank you so much for reaching out to me. And I really, I mean, to me, uh, my favorite part of this is this milling. It feels great. It is. So I don't know if that's from the factory. I'll report back and let you guys know in the review uh, if if he added that, I I think it's from the factory. I think that's from the factory. I'm just not sure about uh, the grind here. So we'll get all the details and I will get back with you guys uh, very soon. So very cool, Don. Thanks for sending this. Uh, good surprise in the middle of the work day. Uh, and uh, very, very cool. So guys, let me know what you think down below of this beauty. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Look forward to chatting some more about this one very soon. Uh, man, that uh, the jimping is really aggressive there, and that this is it's just an aggressive knife, so that fits for me. Good sharpening choil. All right, I'm I'm really digging this actually. So really, really cool. Uh, give me a thumbs up, comment down below all the things, like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, and thank you guys uh, for all your support and for watching the Knives Fast channel.